hey, I have a new TV show on Newsmax TV on Saturdays at 7.30. Tune in. You'll enjoy it. The political end game that's going to surround the negotiations to end the war in Ukraine is coming into focus. Russia is shifting its resources from an attack on Kiev and a desire to formally incorporate Ukraine into Russia to limiting its attack to the 10% of Ukraine in Donbass, the two provinces of Donetsk and Luhan, that together have 10% of Ukraine's population, half of it Russian speaking, half of it Ukrainian. It was these provinces that Russia invaded in 2014 under the guise of backing a separatist movement there. And it was here that Putin launched his initial assault in this invasion. It's also the only area of Ukraine in which he's had success. The question for Zelensky and the Ukrainian government is, what will they do about the Donbass region? Will they agree to it being politically independent and dependent on Moscow as Russia wants? Or will they insist that it remain part of Ukraine? Zelensky knows that if he were to agree to give up Donbass, he'd probably be impeached. Because after the blood Ukraine has shed and the success they've had, they're not prepared to cede part of their territory to Russia. But on the other hand, if the war is just about two provinces in eastern Ukraine, containing only 10% of the population, will the West continue to help Ukraine as massively as it's done? More on the other side of this break. To see the rest of this video, please go to dickmorris.com backslash subscribe. Uh, to sign up for my videos and columns. It's completely free. Or click on the link in the description box below. Thanks.